stop and get punked out. You're real smart. Freaking maniac! What the deal, yo? In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be eating forever. You change diapers and then you are a French maid? Fernando thinks not. Fernando knows me. Well, I mean, you know, it's an age-old problem. How do you keep the excitement in America? Excitement? Exactly. Passion. Danger. How, Laszlo? How? Tell me how, and I give you a big, big kiss. Like I gave a woman. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like I gave a woman or even a donkey. Because, because you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems like bliss. I, I wasn't really up for kissing on air. I mean, why not, Laszlo? Am I not attractive? Am I not irresistible even to you? Well, no matter. Why all this talking about kissing? I mean, you brought it up. No, my friend. You say you not want to kiss me. I was talking how to say hypothetically. You make me all personal. It's a big difference. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Laszlo, your wife, she looked like yesterday's dinner after I eat. You're not so happy. It's a big difference. Anyway, the marriage is impossible, Laszlo. If a man was born an angel, maybe impossible. But a man is born a man. And a man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into his bed. But for his bed, So he starts flirting with the secretary, takes her out for a drink, one thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wonderer, a dreamer, a man who has needs, but an idiot, and I can save you. And I can save your marriage. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. Hey, you are the one mentioning the pretty assistant and the office furniture and the Aikarama, my friend. Listen, Laszlo, and listen very closely. Your 
marriage is a gift and a present from above. But you are a man. I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man, he sees wife all fat, all early, with the dirty diapers, and the dirty bag, and the scrawny brush, and who knows what else. He's not thinking of marriage back. He's thinking about, well, you thinking about your pretty assistant. We already know that, see? Um, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy for your little secretary with the short skirt and the pretty eyes? And come together, they are smiling. What then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, my friend. But you, more like... Right, bro. 